What is up all you worship peoples? Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Nate Meist and I love equipping worship leaders with helpful and encouraging content. And in this video, we're gonna be learning how to play on an acoustic guitar, uh, a song by Passion, Yesterday, Today, and Forever. This is kind of an older song released on February 18th of this year. Um, but I saw that it was, you know, now featured on the Worship Now playlist on Spotify. So maybe it's kind of gaining some more momentum. So I thought I would do it in case it might help you guys. Stick around at the end, as always, for my rigorous grading system where we will bring this song into kind of like a church context to see how it truly works. Um, and let's get into it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If these videos are helping you, which is the goal, why don't you give them a like and maybe even ring that notification bell or subscribe so that you don't miss future worship tutorials. All right, there are three things we'll be going over in this video to help you learn this song on an acoustic guitar. The first thing is key and capo. The key that the song was recorded in, what key I'm doing it in, how to use your capo to play in some other keys. The second thing are two strumming patterns uh, that will get you through this entire song. And the third thing are the chords. I'm going to play through each section of this song and as I do, I will have these handy little chord diagrams in the upper right hand corner um, so that you can see exactly what I'm playing, you know, where my fingers are for each chord. As always, this video is time stamped, so skip ahead to any part of the song that you would like to learn. All right, so this song was recorded in the key of B. I will be staying in that key for this tutorial. Um, playing in the key of B with a capo basically means you have your capo on fret number four. One, two, three, four. And you'll play in what's called the G position. And you will be in the same key as it was recorded. Uh, the song was recorded on the album. If you don't know what the G position is or how to play in it, I have a video for that, so click up above or down below. But I will stay in that key for this tutorial. And all the chords that I'm going to call out are going to be in the key of G. So they're going to be positional chords, not the actual chords. Because you're in the key of B, but you're playing positionally in the key of G. The beautiful thing is that if you wanted to change the key that you're playing the song in, it's really easy to do that, still using the same chord shapes that I'm going to teach you in this video. All you got to do is move your capo. So if you move your capo down one fret, for instance, uh, fret number three, you'd be in the key of B flat or A sharp. Move your capo down another fret, fret number two, key of A. Fret number one would be A flat or G sharp. And take your capo off completely and you'd be in the key of G because we are in the G position after all. Uh, if you wanted to go up a little bit, you could go to fret number five and play in the same those same shapes and you'd be in the key of C. So a wide range of keys that you could play and still using the same chord shapes that I'm going to teach you in this video, just using your capo and you would download your chord chart in the key of G and just follow along. All right, so for these strumming patterns, for the intro, the first verse and first pre-chorus, I'm going to do all downstrokes. So I don't really show you how to do that because it's just going like this the whole time. Um, so let's skip ahead to what I'm calling strumming pattern number one, which will kick in for the first chorus, and then you will play this strumming pattern for each chorus. Um, and then we'll go to strumming pattern number two, which will cover uh, verse number two and the bridge sections. So, um, so here we go, strumming pattern number one. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> So let's slow that one down. So one, two, three, four, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. You can tell I'm accenting some different things on that strumming pattern to give it the right feel. So so down, 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 up, down. So that that first up, down is up on the higher strings. And the second up, down is on the lower strings. So it sounds like. 
So it gives it a kind of like the same drum beat vibe that they have in the song for the chorus. So. That's me really exaggerating which strings I'm hitting so you can, you can hear uh, what I'm doing there. All right, strumming pattern number two. Again, this would be for verse number two and the bridge primarily. So one, two, three, four. All right, slow that down. So one, two, three, four, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. All right, so let's learn these chords. Let's go through this intro. As I stated in the strumming pattern portion of this video, uh, this uh, first, the intro, the first verse, the pre-chorus, it's all downstrokes. I, I, I'm just gonna play downstrokes, strumming pattern-wise, uh, to kind of mimic the vibe of the recording on the album. So let's play through this intro. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> Verse number one, we're continuing those downstrokes. One, two, three, four. Lift your head, lift your eyes, look to the sun. In the test, in the trial, His grace is enough. His grace is enough. Pre-chorus number one, same chords, same strumming pattern. One, two, three. Oh, my soul, remember who you're singing to. Take heart, hold on. Remember who you're singing to. All right, chorus number one. We're going to switch to strumming pattern number one now. So one, two, three. He's still the Lord Almighty. He's still the King of Kings. He's still the risen Savior reigning over everything. His name is still the highest. His strength will never fail. His word is everlasting yesterday, today. All right, verse number two, we are switching to strumming pattern number two now. So one, two, three, four. Keep the faith and the flame. Don't give up the fight. In the night, speak his name. His hope is alive. Our hope is alive. So pre-course number two, it's kind of hard to decipher what you would do here strumming pattern wise. Uh, first of all, there's not really much chord structure involved. It's kind of like a, a piano lead line with a beat behind it. There's not really much like chord support behind what they're playing. So um, I'm guessing it's just the verse chords continued. And strumming pattern wise, I'm going to actually go back to just all down strokes to kind of give it the same vibe as the album. So let's do uh, pre-chorus number two. So one, two, three. Oh, my soul, remember who you're singing to. Take heart, hold on. Remember who you're singing to. All right, chorus number two, going back to strumming pattern number one now. So one, two, three. All 
right, this is the tag after chorus number two. I'm going to be doing all downstrokes. One, two, three, four. Yes, today, today, and forever. All right, this is the pre bridge instrumental all downstrokes. One, two, three, four. All right, now we're going to sing the bridge. The first bridge, I'm going to do all down strokes. The second bridge, I'm going to go into strumming pattern number two. One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus, the one I can count on, the one thing I'm sure of. This is the chorus for the third time. For this third time, um, the first half of the chorus, we're just going to stay on the root note, the one chord, which is G, um, and positionally, I mean. And uh, and then halfway through, well, you'll see. Let's just get into it. Um, also, first half, all downstrokes. Second half, I'll go into strumming pattern number one. So one, two, three. He's still the Lord Almighty. He's still the King of Kings. He's still the risen Savior. This is the tag after that third chorus. This is kind of the ending of the song. Um, once again, half down strokes, and then we'll go into strumming pattern number one again. One, two, three, four. they kind of go into an outro there they're ad-libbing they kind of you know do some spontaneous uh you know music there at the end of the song so i won't be covering that but i'm sure you can decipher it on your own if you want to include that in your rendition all right so those are all the chords for this song guys why don't we now bring the song into my most rigorous grading system and see how it does it could receive up to three check marks uh, check mark number one, could this song be played not only in a full band context, which sounds great, but could you also play this song with just one instrument? Would it sound good on just a piano or just an acoustic guitar? My vote is yes. Um, I'm, I'm going to say yes. I, I uh, feel like the song is, is pretty simple. It does sound good with a full band, but I feel like you could play this song on an acoustic guitar or like a stripped down version of it, and I think it would sound great. So yes for me on that one. Check mark number two, would this song be easy for you and your worship team to kind of just like learn and go into Sunday confidently? Could you, you know, spend, you know, an hour on a Tuesday night rehearsal and then go into Sunday and be ready? Is it easy to learn for a wide range of skill sets, you know, whoever's volunteering on your team? I'm gonna say yes. 
Um, it the, the chord structures, as you have already seen, it's really, really basic. Um, you know, not to say that the song itself is basic, it's a really powerful and great song. I, I really appreciate this song now that I've learned it, um, and I'm thinking of actually doing it, but um, yeah, I think it'd be super easy to learn. Lyrically, it's really simple, chord-wise, very simple, very uh, predictable melodies. So uh, yes, I think it'd be super easy for you and your worship team to learn no matter what the uh, skill sets. And check mark number three, would the song be good in a church context? Absolutely. Uh, this song is so good, man. I, I love the message. It's, it's really simple, but so powerful. Such a great reminder. Um, this song would just, this would be a really easy song for you to slip right into your Sunday to Sunday repertoire and have it be readily uh, received by a wide variety of church cultures, I would say. Um, you know, really powerful song, easy to catch on to, easy for the church to learn um, and for them to understand, uh, you know, yes, totally would be great on a Sunday morning. So that is Yesterday, Today, and Forever by Passion. Kind of an older release, as I already said. February 18th of this year, 2022. But um, I kind of feel like it's resurfacing a little bit on Spotify, kind of gaining some momentum. Um, so I thought, you know, why not do a tutorial for this song? Um, because there might be many of you guys out there that are doing it. And I hope that this tutorial helps you to do this song. If it did or you're doing this song, I want to know how it's going. Comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Uh, wherever you guys are, I hope that the Lord is blessing the work of your hands. I know that he is with you. Uh, continue to serve him faithfully. It's all about uh, serving. You are a servant. Don't forget that. So when people treat you like one, don't be surprised. You are serving people. You are serving the Lord. Continue to do so faithfully. And I know he will bless you. Um, and as always, just a friendly reminder to always be getting a little crazy wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I'll see you guys in the next video.